Some of your supporters in Nevada attacked the union after this. Well, you know, it's a funny thing. Uh, obviously, that is not acceptable to me. And I don't know who these so-called supporters are. Uh, you know, we're living in a strange world on the Internet. And sometimes people attack people in somebody else's name. But let me be very clear. Uh, anybody making personal attacks against anybody else in my name is not part of our movement. We don't want them. And I'm not so sure, to be honest with you, that they are necessarily part of our movement. You understand you know, the nature of the Internet. It's a strange world out there. If his supporters are attacking culinary union members, who's responsible for that? Look, um, he may not be responsible for it, but he has some accountability. I'm going to not put you, put you in a spot you don't have to. You know me well enough to know if any of my supporters did that, I disown them. Let me be very clear. Uh, anybody making personal attacks against anybody else in my name is not part of our movement. We don't want them. Flat disown them. The stuff that was said online, the way they threatened these two women who are leaders in that culinary union, it is outrageous. Just, just go online. I invite anybody to go and take a look at the things they said. the vicious, malicious, misogynistic things they said, the threats they put out. And to say I disassociate is one thing. Find out who the hell they are. If any of them work for me, fire them. Find out. See what's going on. You don't think he's been curious enough? I'm hoping he's looking. But I tell you what, so far I don't think it's sufficient just to say I disassociate myself. Mr. Vice President. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Good Thank to talk you. To you. Thank you. Appreciate it. You were asked yesterday by my colleague Chuck Todd about the vitriol coming from some of Bernie Sanders' supporters, and it seemed to be your view, and yes. you jump in if, if I get this wrong, that, that Bernie isn't doing enough. Do you worry about the tone and tenor in February of this presidential campaign year? I really do. Look, uh, I know you've seen what's been online. The vicious, vicious threats and things they've said, the, the misogynistic things they've said referring to the, the women who are leaders of the culinary union and the things that they've said about them and, the, and actually they've received death threats. I mean, this is way, way, this is Trump-like, way over the line. And I think Bernie has to be, he has to disavow this. He has to say, I disassociate. I don't want any of those people being with me. Let me be very clear. Uh, anybody making personal attacks against anybody else in my name is not part of our movement. We don't want them. Can you imagine if my supporters did that, what you'd be expecting of me? Do you think Bernie... Yes. I'm not saying Bernie won't do it. He hadn't done it yet. Let me be very clear. Uh, anybody making personal attacks against anybody else in my name is not part of our movement. We don't want them. Do you think Bernie is Trump-like? No, I think unless you speak up and take on this vitriol, I mean, it is ugly. I can't even use the words they used in the, on, you know, go on, check on, you know, uh, no, I, the, I know what you're the websites but I, but I ask you, because there was a days-long scandal with Donald Trump when he refused to do just this. And in Donald Trump's case, it was very different. It was far worse. It was support from white nationalists. But he refused to disavow. He refused to disavow. I'm asking if you think Bernie Sanders is acting Trump-like in his refusal to disavow people that may be unsavory, but that are very enthusiastic about him. Let me be very clear. Uh, anybody making personal attacks against anybody else in my name is not part of our movement. We don't want them. I'm asking if you think Bernie Sanders is acting Trump-like in his refusal to disavow people that may be unsavory, but that are very enthusiastic about him. Well, by the way, there's, the white supremacists are very enthusiastic about Trump. Right. It's right. not whether they're enthusiastic about him, it's the things they do. This, this reluctance to disavow. Oh, is it something that in Bernie Sanders worries you? It's something that worries me about being able to unify this country. Again, can you imagine if any of my supporters did that, my not condemning them yeah. and saying I don't want their support? I agree. With but let me be very clear. Uh, anybody making personal attacks against anybody else in my name is not part of our movement. We don't want them.